In today's video, I'm talking about how there's this trend of women that have had multiple kids by a man, one man, one father. And then these women up and leave because that man won't marry them. Let's talk about it. Olivia. Olivia, where are you calling me from? Baltimore. Baltimore, how old are you? 27. Do you have any kids? I have two boys. Both by the same man? Yeah. Why are you not with this man you had a baby with three years ago? Because he don't want marriage. I want to be a wife. Where are you have two kids from? I thought we was going to get married. We had a place together, shared a car, but it just never happened. Like, he was stringing me along. Okay, so did y'all live together? We did. So was the only issue of him not wanting to get married, or was there other issues? I mean, that was it. I just wanted to be married. He didn't want to be married. He saw it as a contract, so, yeah. When's the last time he was intimate? You don't have to answer. Yeah, I choose not to answer. <laughs> Can I you don't have to answer this question, but I'm just curious. Was it your baby daddy? Yeah. All praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, this video, the main goal is to give women some wisdom, uh, encourage them to go back into the Bible and prove their mindset or their thought pattern for the betterment and the sake of their own family, their own household. Okay. So what I mean is you have women that are dwelling with a man, you know, you might have one, two kids and y'all are uh, living together. There's this urge and you as a woman to say, well, I want to be married. You guys is having all the sex in the world. You guys is making babies and you want the ring. You want the ceremony. You want the legal paperwork. And this is why I say a lot of women shoot themselves in the foot due to a lack of understanding. The title 99% of Western marriages are polygynous because of the simple fact that when you go down to that courthouse, you are not marrying under God. You get married under the laws of the state. Therefore, by doing that, you have cut a covenant or a contract with the inhabitants of the land. And there's three parties involved. You, the man, and the state. One thing about Western marriage, legal state-issued marriage, is the man loses the authority and the role of being the head over you, which biblically the Most High Yah says that he is. But because so many men and women get married under the state, what happens is the man, you know, is no longer the head and the state is the head. And I challenge women out there to find biblically where these wedding rings are a symbol of righteous marriage. I challenge women to, to go back and find that out. You know, I challenge you to find out, you know, if the laws of legal state marriage line up with the laws of the Bible. And a lot of, a lot of women are, we're not having another woman in our relationship, but you're very quick to force the man losing all of his headship and authority uh, and getting married under the state and then have the expectation that you want him to be a godly man, a God-fearing man. And 
I want you to understand you cannot find biblically where marriage is defined by uh, simply going down to a courthouse, having a third party governing authority over you uh, sanctify that marriage. See, being married under the Most High Yah is a completely different set of laws. But the state will allow two men to go down there and get married. Two women to go down there and get married. The process of if the relationship goes south and the man has to put you away, this is why women are able to get over on men in legal divorce because the man is not the head. The state being the head is going to tell the man what he has and must do. And women, oftentimes, they lose out because they like that leverage over the man. But guess what? Now you didn't put yourself out here, messed up your odds when you could have done it a righteous biblical way. I don't, I don't encourage no man uh, to give up headship and authority that the Most High Yah told you to have. See, biblical marriage is consummated by when he goes inside of you. And oftentimes, what you do is you have committed a lot of acts of fornication and adultery because you walk away from something in your mind that is not marriage. But in all actuality, once y'all, you know, he goes up inside of you and y'all are living together, where do you find that the righteous had uh, a legal agreement given by the state or the nation that they were in? You don't find that biblically. And this is this has caused a lot of this paperwork, this state-issued marriage license has caused a lot of women to be back on the market and suffer because they hold that, well, if he's not willing to sign this paperwork uh, and marry me, when y'all done had more sex than uh, a, a lot of married people. So I'm, I'm putting this out to, to get you to realize when you think about a polygynous relationship, that's one man and multiple wives. And when you look at the state, the state is the head and the man becomes a wife. He's no longer the head. He's no longer uh, the leader because we know oftentimes what happens is uh, a woman can get a case of the butt and go down to her covering, which is the state, and then have actions taken against the man. In these last days, man, men are not rushing down to go get taken advantage of by the state. And then when we look at it, you know, over 50% of marriages end in divorce, legal marriages. And then when we look at that, 70 to 90 percent of those divorces are filed by women and women get screwed men are simply not uh entering into those third party agreements with the state see people like to mix and match uh you know worldly stuff with biblical stuff where it says you know what god or the most high has brought together let no man separate only problem is the most high y'all didn't bring you together in order to make your union, you went to man instead of the Most High Yah. So I'm saying this because you will start to look at it a lot different. Uh, and look at all these women out here that are, are single mothers and had a man but have walked away because this man wouldn't marry them. This man consistently came home, provided for the family, you know, consistently did what he was supposed to do. And the only grievance you have is because he wouldn't go down there and sign a state issued marriage license, you will suffer as a woman if that is your mindset because it's not rooted in boob. You will suffer as a woman if you uh, tear apart your house like that because your mindset is not rooted in any biblical accuracy. It's not rooted in it. And the process of how you enter into these uh, state unions, the process of how people exit these state unions, is all unbiblical. 99% of Western state issued marriages are polygynous. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking that thing gun barrel straight. Wow.